Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So it's been a while, but I've uh, been very busy. So we have a Dan Wesson Seabob, okay? Dan Wesson, I've been looking at this gun right here for, I don't know, the past few years, and I was able to get my hands on one. Um, got a very good price on it, and I am not um, um, unhappy about it. I, I think this is a great move for me, great purchase. I think it's a great gun. Um, it's a commander style, okay, with a bobbed um, grip. So it is really good in the hand, fits really, really good. Um, for safety sallies, it's not loaded, it just has a, a cap. But um, this thing is pretty much a semi-custom gun. I mean, everything about it, the hand fitting they do, the barrel fit uh, to the bushing and everything, um, just the back of the slide, you can see how that's fit. Um, it's got like no movement at all. It's, it's, it's really nice, okay, very good. Very good feel, very good action. I put 200 rounds through it so far. Um, not one hiccup whatsoever at all. And I was having some problems with my Kimber. I had my little three inch Kimber and it was reliable for the first like 400 rounds. And then all of a sudden it started, uh, it turned into a single shot. The slide kept locking back, doing all kinds of stuff. And I was like, you know what? I don't, I don't I'm done with this. I don't want it. So I got rid of it, okay? And I picked this up. All right, so um, I just don't have any confidence in Kimber and I would not buy another Kimber. Um, and I've heard and I've seen stuff online with the same issues, so I'd rather have a gun that is um, made with all bar stock, you know, all stainless steel, um, all tool steel parts. I mean, nothing's mem on this thing. The, um, I think this is a 25 LPI checkering and it's done very, very well, very grippy feels good in the hand. It came with these um, Coca Bolo grips. I took them off and put some blackhead brown. I just think it looks better this way. Kind of looks like how the V-Bob looked. Um, the Dan Wesson V-Bob is discontinued, but they still make the C-Bob, okay? And this is like the only one, this is, I think you only get two Dan Wessons in California, and this is the, I think, the best one out of the two. Very nice uh, Novak style night sights. Backs light up like a yellow. Fronts like a green. It looks really good. I like that color contrast. Um, so if something went bump in the night and you could had, had to pick up your sights, you could you could actually see that. Um, let me see if I can point point that out. I'm gonna turn the lights off. Let's see if you guys see that. Uh, yeah, kinda. So the green one, if you could tell, is the front, and then the back is yellow. So I th I think it really helps. It works for for you know nighttime shooting or you know home defense type of thing. The trigger, I did not measure it, but I'm, I'm thinking it's around four pounds. Now there's your take up, which is almost nothing. And then here's your break. It's got, it's probably less. It's probably like three and a half, but um, it's got no creep, nothing. It is, I mean, very nice. Look at this watch. There's your uptake. There's your break. Like I said, no creep. Even my less bare at first had some creep. So this thing is really nice. And then the reset, let me rack the slide. Reset is right here. Very nice reset. And then the brake, okay? Um, I'm not sure if they use cylinder and slide or red brown or what, but uh, it could be red brown because this kind of looks like an Ed Brown uh, thumb safety, but they use all high-end parts, okay? And I'm not sure if they're making any of their own parts yet, <coughs> but if you look at the actual hammer, <coughs> excuse me, grip safety, thumb safety, slide stop, everything. Look how thick that slide stop is. Nothing is mem. It has an extended uh, safety or extended uh, mag catch, but um, nothing is mem. Nothing is cheap at all. I like how it has no serrations on the front. It looks like a classic 1911. It looks great, great to me. Barrel bushing is really thick, so it really protects that barrel. Looks good. And um, I don't know. I, everything's match grade, stainless steel barrel. I think it's a great gun right here. You guys need to look into it. This is the Dan Wesson Seabob. On the back, it's smooth. At first, I was like, man, how is that going to feel? <coughs> Excuse me. Am I going to have any grip? I have plenty of grip. It feels really good in the, in the back of my hand. Okay. I really think all you need is all that grip up front for control. 
<clears throat> next time I go shoot this, I will try to get some video of it and I'll post that as well. But um, I'm very happy with it. So this is a Dan Wesson Seabob and I will report back um, when I get some more rounds through it. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Goodbye.